You know what? Life sucks ass sometimes. I got a friend. He's a great friend of mine. Uh, I've known him since I was seven years old. And I just lost my friend to Robert Zion to, uh, drinking. He was drinking a gallon of vodka a day and then doing uh, stupid shots of that shit bull... Red Bull crap. He ki it killed him. He's 51 years old. Now I got my other friend who's 51 years old who's at his house with two cases of beer drinking himself to death. He's already had a seizure. And I had... His mom called me to go and rescue him and I just was out there looking for... I shouldn't be saying this on, but I'm just... You know, when you start out in life, you think everything is going to turn out bitchin'. You're going to have a beautiful wife and kids and a big house and nice cars and everything will be lovely and then you'll grow old together with the whatever hag you decided to marry. <laughs> and then you'll die. Beep! The end. Nice life. So, I made the mistake of watching a movie. Uh, Nothing uh, never gets better. It's better than this. You know, with Jack Nicholson. He's as good as it gets. And at the end, what he's... Fuck, why am I even talking to you guys about this? This is not metal. But uh, it just sucks ass when you're seeing a friend killing himself and you can't... There's nothing you can do. I've been sober 21 years now from alcohol. The pill thing, it's... You know, I it was it's been about 15 years, 2004, and uh, you know it's not easy, but I did it. And after the accident, that was really not easy. I really wanted to take medication because I was in massive pain, but I didn't get on too hard narcotics. I, I'm trying to, well, whatever. I took some, and the evidence is on there. You can find these. It's usually me talking about Chinese Gibsons that I had. I cut the audio out, though, because I'm just... <laughs> but I didn't get them all. And those seems to be the <laughs> some of the highest rated videos. That shows you the, the type of people that watch YouTube. I mean, this troll type. They actually like to see that. Why would you want to see that? I wouldn't want to see somebody doing, you know, high and nodding out. I'd, I'd try to get hold of them and help them. Not, you know, slam them like people, dude, dude, you're, you know, get a hold, you get a hold of yourself, man. Shouldn't shoot up. Yeah, I'm shooting up. Yeah, I just freaking went through a divorce, a car accident, coma, lost a job, and yeah, I'm doing great. I was trying to learn how to play guitar. It took me nine friggin' years to get back to, to the mess that you hear now. Because I can't feel out of this hand. There's no feeling in these fingertips. Neuropathy from the accident. Spinal cord injury. I can walk. I can do everything. But my legs from the knees down are numb. And this hand is numb. So it's a damn miracle that I can play. And I don't take any friggin' drugs. <coughs> Not that this is now an anti-drug thing. You do whatever you want, especially all you friggin' potheads out there now that you got all the legal crap. I hate pot. It makes me paranoid, and I can't stand it. But opiates? <laughs> but I'll never go back, because I know how that ends. It's a bad ending. So... <laughs>
Getting back to music. So this is my Mick guitar. It's tuned down now. So it's an official Mick Mars guitar. And it's actually an official dirt guitar because they used an Epiphone in the movie. Let's put a piece of tape over. Save the uh, Thunderbird. I mean, Nicky's an idiot. He's not a musician. I don't care what he thinks in his head. He's an idiot. Mick is the whole key to Motley Crue. He picked out, he picked out to stay with Nicky and Tommy. A guy that couldn't play bass at all and a drummer who was 18 years old. Then Tommy said, hey, I know this guy as they, you know, were auditioning everybody and they got Vince Neil, who was not the greatest singer, but he had that stage presence. And you don't know, you don't judge by the last Tour, the end, was not, that's not the Vince Neil that I remember from 81, 82, 83. Total different. I mean, he still, you know, screamed and he was out of key all the time, but he looked cool as hell. He had a good stage presence and he knew how to talk to the audience. The end, you don't need to be Ronnie James Dio, who's an amazing singer. Live in studio, amazing both ways. So... <laughs> Something tells me I shouldn't have made a video today, but I'm already on it, so here we go. Let's just take this to a weird setting. You want, someone asked, I said, what do you want me to play? And they said something. I don't remember. Ozzy, Motley, something else. I don't know.